morning, we're doing an EMA workout, which stands for every minute on the minute. So what that means is that we're gonna do five exercises in five minutes, 10 reps each. After you've completed 10 reps, you get to take a break. If those 10 reps take you 10 seconds, you get to take a whole 50 second break. If they take you 30 seconds, 30 second break. You get the point. But you get the full minute in order to be able to complete the exercises if you need it. So, what you're gonna need is a countertop and a chair. And I'm placing my chair against my countertop so it doesn't slide out from behind me. So our first exercise, which we're gonna start in just 30 seconds or so here, are sit to stands. So I'm gonna to start towards the front edge of my chair and I'm gonna to try to stand without using my hands to push up. So that's gonna look like this, like this, or like this. If you need to push up from the chair, that's completely fine. It's wherever you're at today. I just want you to be challenged a little bit in your morning. So we're gonna do a quick five minute workout. You can do this workout while your coffee brews, while your tea brews. So get seated on the front edge of your seat in five, four, three, two, here we go. 10 reps. Really squeezing your bottom as you stand up. And breathing, there's halfway for me. left so I'm going to show you our next exercise but normally if I have that much time left I'm going to do about five more reps so next time I'm going to see if I can get to 15 because we don't want that much rest unless you need it if you need it that's totally fine but try to challenge yourself once again the next exercise is up on your toes doing some heel raises we got nine seconds five four Three, two, here we go. I'm gonna do 15 of this one, just because I had so much time left on my last one. When we go up on our toes, we wanna to make sure we're really pushing out through the ball of our feet, not rolling over to the side. I'm at seven. This exercise, really building those calf muscles, which helps us so much in walking. I think I got about five more. It's hard to keep out and talk at the same time. Last one for me, and I got about 18 seconds left. So that's a much better rest for me. So for me, I'm gonna do 15 reps. You can stick with 10. If you're at eight, that's great too. Our next one is a tricep push-up. So our hands are on the counter, our elbows are tucked in, we're going down and back up. Here we go. So core is nice and tight. We're really feeling this in our triceps and the back of our arms. If you need to step closer, that's fine too. That's going to give you a little bit of less work. Make sure you're breathing. Excellent. I got about 20 seconds left. So our next exercise is we're going to do single leg deadlifts. So my hands on the counter, I've got a little bit of bend in my standing leg and I'm going to tip forward and squeeze my bottom to stand. In three, two, one, here we go. So you can see my torso is nice and upright. I'm not hunching over. I'm just tipping up my hip and I'm squeezing up. This is working the whole back of the leg. You can probably feel it. There's 10 for me. I'm going to do five more. 
and you want to look down towards the floor to protect your neck. Last two for me. Last one. Excellent. I got about 12 seconds left. The last exercise is we're just switching sides. In five, four, three, two, and we tip and lift. go. If you're still working, you've got about 20 seconds or so. Take that time. That's completely fine. It's whatever you need. I think you can see how you can challenge yourself within this workout as well. So if today you were able to do 10, see tomorrow if you can do those 12 reps. Whatever it is for you that gives you a little bit of a challenge. You got four, three, two, one. Excellent job. You've already completed a workout for this morning. I'm proud of you. You should be proud of you too. Please check out my website, www.theseniorcenteredpt.com. And until next time, have the strength to live life to the fullest. Bye.